Hey there, are you looking for a smart relay to control two lighting circuits, which is small enough to fit in behind your existing lighting switch? Sonoff has just released the Mini Duo range. Two versions come out in Zigbee, one of those has a no neutral, and then we have a Meta over Wi-Fi. So let's have a look. Now Sonoff did send me these devices free of charge, but this is not a sponsored video, and they have no control over what I'm about to say. So having a look at the Zigbee version to start off with, as you can see, these guys have got some Black Friday sales on at the moment. This is running on the Zigbee 3.0 protocol. It's got two relays which support a maximum load of 16 amps, but beware that each load has a maximum of 10 amps. So I would certainly limit this to uses with lighting circuits and not with plug circuits. This relay can be used both with rocker switches as well as momentary switches. It's powered by an EFR 32M G21 chip and it does have both overheating and surge protection. Please note that some of the special features like switch mode, detach relay, power on state and inching settings are only available when you run it with the EWI link and not with other systems. Wiring these devices is really simple, but always get an electrician involved unless you're qualified to do so. Basically, you bring your live and your neutral wires in, and then your loads are supported from L1 and L2 back to neutral, and your two switches go from S1 and S2 back to the live wire. So having a close look at the device, we've got our pairing button, as well as a status LED, and I do like that they've offered us an additional live connection on the terminals. This device is pretty small, but it's a bit larger than the Sonoff roller shutter controller. So we have the power connected. Now I'm gonna hold the button in for three seconds to put it into pairing mode. And then I can go along and add integration, add Zigbee device, and it should pop up here pretty soon. There we go. It's connected. Uh, we can just put this one in the garage for now and we will so here we have it so we have the two separate relays the switches we then have the actual inputs so the two switches that you can connect up to the device we can then control the startup behavior so we can have it either go immediately to on toggle or the previous value for both of the relays and then we have two further ones. We have the RSSI and the LQI, which we can enable if required. Next up, we'll take a look at the Duo L, which is also a Zigbee smart switch, but this time operates without a neutral, ideal for those older wired homes. The wiring here is super simple. You bring the live into the device and then out through the load and back to neutral. Once again, this also offers both rocker switches, momentary switches, and SPDT switches. So I've got it all wired up in the no neutral setup. We put it into pairing mode and then select add device. There we go, it's connected, it's configured. We'll just select an area and there we go. We have control over our two relays. We can control the switch inputs. We've also got the startup behavior. As you can see, it's working perfectly with an LED. Finally, we have the Matter over Wi-Fi switch. This can operate with Apple Home, Google Home, Amazon, or any other Matter-based system. To connect the Matter version, all we do is select Devices and Services on our mobile app, Add Integration, Add a Matter device, and we say, no, it's new. Now we need to scan the QR code on the device, swap it over to the back, scan your QR code, and add to Home Assistant. There we go, it's set up, we can go continue, done. And now we have control over the relays, and we can select our startup behavior, on, off, toggle, or previous. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the Matter device directly to the EWI Link app, so I can show you the additional features that are available when you do this. So I've opened up the Sonoff EWI Link app and add device, and we scan the QR code on the underside of the relay, 
and that will now connect it directly to the eWeLink app. I press the button to reset the device and put it into pairing mode. Select add device, power on the device, long press the pairing button for five seconds. Check that the indicator light is flashing two short and one long. Yes, select your Wi-Fi, connect your Wi-Fi and it's connected. So now that we've connected it directly from the eWeLink app, if we go into the settings over here, you'll see that we have a whole lot more information. So we can go in here and we can change, for example, the switching mode. So we can switch between pulse mode, edge mode, or following mode. We can also select detach relay. This is where it actually detaches the switching from the actual relay itself within the system. We can also do the inching settings. Now what inching means is that effectively when the um, device is turned on, it can then stay on, for example, for a certain amount of time and then turn off. So you might have, for example, a passage light. You want to press the button, it stays on for one minute and then turns on or off automatically. So that's what inching is. Now, if I go to the Matter platforms, you'll see that it's still connected to Home Assistant. So this means that I can connect it up to the uh, Sonoff eWeLink app. I can set all of these settings, but at the same time, it is still connected to Home Assistant and it can still operate as a relay. So this is the beauty of Matter. It allows me to have it connected both to the eWeLink app as well as to Home Assistant at the same time. I don't think this would be possible with the Zigbee versions. So overall, I think this is a pretty cool range of smart switches, especially if you wanna have two relays. My favorite actually is the Matter over Wi-Fi because it allows you to log in through the eWeLink app to the device and have it connected to both eWeLink and Home Assistant at the same time and have adjustment of all those additional features. Uh, you may be able to do that with Zigbee. I know that there are often some more features that are offered within the Zigbee to MQTT. Unfortunately, my Zigbee MQTT is not working at the moment and I need to figure it out so I can't test that out. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.